Hello scientific audience. So today I'm going to take up a demonstration in biology and I'm going to separate the human blood into its different components with the help of a centrifugation machine. So before we understand the entire centrifugation process, we need to understand the components of human blood. I will keep this discussion very marginal and short and then we will switch over to the demonstration part. So this image which you are seeing over here is the image of a human blood after centrifugation process correct and this is the heaviest part of the blood that we call as red blood cells rbc they are also known as erythrocytes now these erythrocytes are they take up about 44 percent of the entire blood volume and these are the red blood cells the wonderful things about the red blood cells is they are biconcave in shape like disc shape and they are compressed in between and they are bulged at the edges and their job is to carry the oxygen from the lungs to different parts of the body and transport it to the body cells so that they can do the oxidation of glucose and produce the energy. Okay, These cells they are being produced inside the bone marrow. And the bone marrow is mostly present in the femur part of the human leg bone from where these blood cells they actually originate. Now this whitish color ring that you are seeing that takes about 1% of the entire blood volume and that is platelets and the WBC cells. So here we have WBC cells plus platelets. Now WBC cells are white blood cells. So here are four types of white blood cells. We will, won't be going into much of the details of the white blood cells, but they are the soldiers of human body. They protect our body from any kind of external viral or bacterial attack or any kind of infection. So basically when any pathogens, when they enter inside our body, WBC cells, they kill those pathogens and they act as the soldiers of our human body and protect our human body from the infections. They are also known as leukocytes. You can see that they have bilobed nuclei and there are four different types of WBC cells. These are the platelets and these are the smallest cells out of all the human blood cells. They are also known as thrombocytes. Their main job is to clot the blood. And suppose that in this area there is a cut. You can consider this as a human skin. And if there is a cut and then the blood starts oozing out, then all the platelets they actually gather over here. And then the these are like small, small platelets. And then the fibrin protein, fibrin thread proteins, they actually wrap these entire platelets and they clot the blood so that the blood doesn't ooze out any further. So their main job is to clot the blood. And you might have heard that whenever a patient with dengue comes, then in the blood report, the platelet count is less. That is the same platelets that we are discussing over here. And the upper part which you are seeing over here, slight yellowish color, it is known as plasma. That is the liquid component of the blood and it contains about 90% of water and it has different kind of salts, proteins, it also contains hormones. So basically plasma is the liquid component of the blood and it supports all these blood components in it. Now this is the centrifugation machine that I have taken into my demonstration. Now this centrifugation machine has four slots as you can see over here, four slots of test tubes. So human blood is actually poured into these test tubes and then the mouth of the test tube is very closely shut and then we, when we switch on the centrifugation machine, these test tubes are rotated very fast due to which the high density particles that are the red blood cells, they settle at the bottom and the lighter particles, they remain at the top. So here you are seeing that the red blood cells or 
the red blood corpuscles they are being deposited at the bottom when the test tubes rotate very very fast so here we are going to keep the speed of this centrifugation machine as about 1000 rotations per minute due to which the centrifugation of the blood process will take place now let's switch over to the demonstration <laughs> 